Fantasy Land comes Paul Chandler as character Uncle Remus to tell you the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> today. Didn't you miss your classes yesterday? No, not a bit. Say, I wonder what color the front door is today. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to make your troubles go. Just keep on singing all day long. Hi-ho, 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 low. You positively can't go wrong to high. When you dig, there ain't a better thing than a tune, 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 than a tune you can whistle or can do. Hi-ho, hi-ho, to make That's it, juice had the secret word. Two, there are 74 MIGs off your left wing, 85 zeros off your right wing, and three bombers directly in front of you. So how's the family? As the dwarves were out to lunch, absorbing a few calories after their hard day's work at the local library, our story takes us back to the palace. Here, we find the wicked queen is consulting her magic mirror and priding herself on her great beauty and wisdom. I wonder what is in her mind right now. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? I think I see, by this dim light, 
It is the one they call Snow White. What is her secret? You'll wonder where the arrow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent. And Pepsodent toothbrushes, too. Well, here I am. <laughs> Quickly, see this cleaver? <laughs> yeah. See Snow White? Yeah, yeah. Kill her. Bring me her heart. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> to the woods now. <laughs> Entering the court is Miss Beatrice Klotzmeyer Kindlerick. She is escorted by Bodily Snort Shenley V. Miss Kindlerick has just returned from an extended tour of Bermuda, Capri, Venice, and Granite City. She is wearing a white taffeta gown with a graceful boat neck set off by a Wellston High School sweatshirt. Alas, fair queen, my quest is done. You should now be the fairest one. <laughs> You've reached the first plateau. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Now, who is the fairest of them all? You are deceived. Have right to fear. To Snow White's beauty, there is no peer. And in the kingdom, with hair so dapple, was a vagrant scholar selling apples. There went the wicked queen by chance to buy the goods to cast her trance. And fast to her alchemy lab she did run, her witting spell was soon begun. She then brought forth a potent pill and soon became the devil's will. Whip one cup heavy cream until slightly stiff. Press three bananas through a sieve and add one tablespoon lemon juice. Fold in 12 crushed lizard legs. We'll serve six. Snow White fled from the woods, for she dare not tarry. When lo and behold, she ran across Harry. Then she came to the house of these seven small men. And finding it untidy, she pitched right in. I wonder who did it. Look, it's the witch. Let's get her.
Christmas racing fans, here at Huntley Downs, we have a strange woman jockey today. And entering the far turn, we have my friend Flicker, Mickey Mouse, Grim Tin Tin, the Sigma Chi Bulldog, and two SAE Lions. Over the rail is coming up. Over the rail. Prince Charming will never find her. I'd even give her my teddy bear. She's really too pretty to bury. What we need is a stretcher. Stretcher? You said the secret word. That's it. about the sheriff. I'm told he drinks something awful. Yeah, I know. I tasted it once. Sheriff waddles forward. Sheriff, I hear you were held up on your way home last night. Sheriff. Yeah, that's the only way I could have made it. Okay. Sheriff, we think about Robin Hood and he's, he's still keeping up that bit about Reggie and giving. Yes, sir. Hi, Jack. These grapes are fruit. The Duke watching Marion intently. Hi, Maid Marion, he says fruitfully. Marion threw bubble gum. Yeah, la, 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 la. Duke, Marion, how about going with me to the Royal Crown Bar tonight? 